In this video, we're going to talk about the exponential distribution, which is a continuous distribution. This distribution is used commonly, especially when it comes to arrival rates. If you think in industry about how often people come or leave a system when they're coming in, say, to a bank or to a store, how long it takes. So that arrival rate is typically a decreasing function. It's not a linearly decreasing function. So let's take a look at a calculation for the exponential distribution. Let's assume we have a passenger metal detector at Chicago's Midway Airport, and it gives an alarm 2.1 times per minute. We can look at the probability that less than 30 seconds will pass before the next alarm and more than 30 seconds will pass. With our exponential distribution, we're going to use two key terms. Lambda, which is our mean arrival rate per unit or time of space. So in this example, it's 2.1 times per minute. And then x is going to be the probability that we're solving for. So for example, if we're looking for less than one minute. In this case, we know that our average rate, our lambda value is 2.1. So let's start by solving for the probability that less than 60 seconds will pass before the next alarm. So here, we're going to set our x as equal to 1 because we need to make sure that our units match. So we know that every 2.1 minutes, so we're converting our 60 seconds over to 1. And then for our probability, we're going to use 1 minus exp, our value of e, that's raised to negative lambda, which was in cell B11, multiplied by our value of x, which is in cell B15. So that gives us a value of 0.8775, or there's an 87.75% chance that 60 seconds will pass before the next alarm. We can also solve for our CDF, our cumulative function, by using the function expon, expon dot dist, and then using our x value from cell B15, which was 1, and our lambda from cell B11, which was 2.1, and since it's cumulative, we're using the value of 1. So our cumulative is also equal to 0.8775, or 87.75%. So now let's take a look at calculating more than 30 seconds will pass before the next alarm. So again here we have to make sure that our units match, so I'm going to convert 30 seconds into 0.5 since it's half a minute. Then we're going to solve for the probability. For our probability, it's the value of E, so EXP, raised to the negative value for B11, which was our lambda, multiplied times X, which is our value in B22. And that gives us a value of 0.3499, or 34.99%. So we know we have a 34.99% chance that more than 30 seconds will pass before the next alarm. We can also calculate our CDF by using 1 minus the value that we just saw for, expon.dist, using B22, our value for x, our lambda from cell B11, and then cumulative as well. And here again, we get a value of 34.99. From a managerial perspective, we can use this information to understand how often something will occur, and in this case, typically arrival rates, we can understand how often customers will come into our store, will go to a site online, anything that's typically an arrival rate, we can schedule and plan for accordingly.